is one of the most common causes of intestinal obstruction in children with more than two thirds of intussusception occurring in children with age of less than one year. Hello, I'm Dr. Deepti Pai from Apollo Ahmedabad. I'm consultant pediatric surgeon. Now intussusception means folding of one part of intestine into another part of intestine. This process is also known as telescoping. It may occur due to many reasons. In some cases, there is a lymph node enlargement in the intestine called as Peyer's patches. After a viral infection, these lymph nodes enlarge and cause the telescoping of the intestine into another part. Sometimes there is a lead point like a tumor or a polyp or Meckel's diverticulum which draws that part of intestine inside another one. In many cases, there is no obvious cause, hence we call it idiopathic intussusception. So intussusception can occur in any part of the intestine, but most commonly it happens in ileocecal region. That is, the last part of the small intestine enters into the first part of the large intestine. Any child with intussusception will have severe pain in the abdomen. There can be red current jelly-like blood in the stool, green colored vomiting or abdominal distension. On examination, abdomen might have a sausage shaped mass and rectal examination may also present with a mass. Some children present to us in very late stages. They will have severe sepsis due to gangrene of the intestine. This can be catastrophic and should be avoided at all times. Hence, any child with recurrent continuous pain in the abdomen and vomiting should definitely consult their doctor immediately. Treatment of intussusception should not be delayed as it increases the risk of gangrene of the obstructed intestine, sepsis and infection. So the initial line of treatment involves ultrasound or fluoroscopy guided pneumatic or hydrostatic reduction. Now I know these sounds like bunch of big words, but I'm going to explain what it means. So in pneumatic reduction, we push air through the anal opening of the child using a tube or a catheter. And the reduction of the intussusception is monitored using the fluoroscopy or x-ray. In hydrostatic reduction, instead of air, we use fluid which is uh, pushed through the anal opening and monitored via ultrasound or x-ray films. If this method fails or in some selected cases, we decide to take up the child for surgery directly. So the surgery for intussusception can be done via open method or laparoscopically. Timely referral is the key to the success in treatment of intussusception. Hence, if you know any child having these symptoms as mentioned earlier, please refer to your pediatric surgeon at the earliest. Thank you.